This one has the ability to turn ugly very fast. Well, why would anyone want to sign on to face Brock Lesnar? It's beyond me. He looks geared up and ready to go tonight. If his back wasn't hurt before, it certainly is now. Yeah, and it's going to be hurting for a while. Remember, this is a no disqualification matchup. Which means anything goes here tonight. Ow! Ooh. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. You know, it's important to remember Randy Orton earned his nickname, the Legend Killer, early in his WWE career for what was a fantastic run of pay-per-view appearances right from the very beginning. I mean, Randy was never intimidated, no matter how big the stage was. And so what's the story here for Big Show? Well, luckily, the body hasn't absorbed too much of an attack up to this point. Brock Lesnar's going high risk. Look how slow he is to recover here. Look at this big time. Incredible. Oh. oh, and a terrific reversal by Steve Austin. King, you brought up Randy Orton's remarkable pay-per-view record when the Viper was still wet behind the ears. In his first 13 pay-per-views in WWE, Randy won nine events. That's not an easy task for even the most experienced performer. Never mind a newbie like Orton was at the time. This will test the adage. It's not how many times you fall, but... And now he's using the sledgehammer to try to take out his opponent. Look at this! Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. Legs taken out by the Russian leg sweep. Wait a minute, we're not in Russia, are we? The Viper slithers out of the way. Oh, slithers. I see what you did there, Cole. Very clever. Randy Orton's got to be hurt after that. No kidding. There's the camel clutch, and somehow he's got to take the pressure off his neck. And, of course, the crowning achievement for Randy Orton in his pay-per-view dominance early in his career was becoming the youngest heavyweight champion ever at SummerSlam 2004. Yeah, to think Randy was just 24 at the time, Michael. That's when most guys would be on an independent circuit somewhere. Instead, the Apex Predator was headlining pay-per-views and hoisting championships. Uh-oh. Just look at this man. He's all business. And that's the way he has to be if he wants to win here tonight. Boy, there's no way he's going to be able to 
stand after that. Make no mistake about it, this is getting ugly. Yeah, now we're just talking about his face. Going for it all here. Inside the ring. And Brock Lesnar nails it. I like it. Let's get this thing done inside the ring. Steve Austin making his statement as we speak. The shoulders are down. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Nothing good is going to happen out here on the floor. Steve Austin showing some expert prowess here. There's a drop kick. Nice move. That looked like one of my old drop kicks. Very nice. He's setting it up. Oh, wait. Nice reversal. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. Nice move. Well, we're on the move here. Oh, out here you have to be able to think of will this be enough? Hang on. Two. Oh man, that'll scramble your insides. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these. It's the German suplex. The end is near. Right about there. Knows getting your feet taken out from under you is a fast way to hit the canvas. Oh, out of nowhere! And five! Lesnar delivers another one. Uh oh, there's the finisher. Then here's the cover. One, two, three, one! Here is your winner, Rock! Gotta be happy with that win right there. It's all about wins and losses, and it sure looks to me like somebody has figured that out. When you see that, you have no choice but to respect it. And ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you next week right here on Monday Night Raw.